So before we begin, obviously this movie isn't in my type of wheelhouse, but God damn! These movies are a guilty pleasure. But if I win, I take the cash, and I take the respect. Just on your own time. The Fast and the Furious. Okay, so this movie doesn't need much of an introduction. Everyone knows this fucking series. Released in 2001, the first movie was just a ripoff of Point Break, just with cars and yet was still pretty popular amongst the young hip kids and wound up becoming a pretty major pop culture power. So the movie opens with... Hi, I'm Paul Walker, starring in The Fast and the Furious. All the racing stunts in our film are performed in a staged environment by professionals with years of training and experience. So with that in mind, be smart, drive safe, and stay legal. That's ironic. Maybe I should cut that part out of the review. It seems like it's a bad taste. I'll definitely cut that part out of the review. This public service announcement was brought to you by Castrol Syntec. So after an opening heist that sets up the events of the movie, we cut to Paul Walker trying to break the sound barrier. <laughs> introduced to a god among men, Dom Toretto, played by the animal himself, Vin Diesel. Every day for the last three weeks you've been coming in here and you've been asking me how the tuna is now. It was crappy yesterday, it was crappy the day before, and guess what? It hasn't changed. I'll have the tuna. Paul Walker loves his tuna. But before we can find out how crappy the tuna is, we're introduced to The Crew. So the squad consists of Michelle Rodriguez, this guy who nobody gives a fuck about, nobody can remember his name, Jesse, and Vince, a being created out of pure testosterone. What's up with this fool? What is he, sandwich crazy? Now Vince doesn't like tuna. And after a well-worded debate, <laughs> Now I'm just fucking with you. They hit each other in the face. Does anybody else think this song is like a little on the nose? Anyway, we get another classic line from the animal. He's in my face. I'm in your face. Is it just me or does it seem like Vin Diesel has the uncanny ability to say everything like he's got a mouth full of marbles? Two years of Lampa. I'll die before I go back. So it's time for the big race. And we get some pretty important race advice. We you know a few things. And one of the things that we know is, it's not how you stand by your car, it's how you race your car. You better learn that. Thanks for the life hack, DMX. You know that's Ja Rule, right? Oh, oh shit. Here they come. So. so Paul Walker tries to hop in the ring because he thinks he can box. He knows I can box. So check it out, it's like this. I lose, winner takes my car clean and clear. But if I win, I take the cash, and I take the respect. <laughs> Shut up, baby dick. To some people, that's more important. Anyway, they're all like... You got both power! He loses so fucking hard. Dude, I almost had you. <laughs> you almost had me? You never had me. You never had your car. <laughs> Ask any racer, any real racer. It don't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. 
winning's winning. Yeah, you fucking loser. So the cops show up and everyone splits. And for a second, it looks like the animal might go to jail. Get it! Hi, I'm Paul Walker, starring in The Fast and the Furious. All the racing stunts in our film were performed in a staged environment by professionals with years of training and experience. So with that in mind, be smart, drive safe, and stay legal. So out of the pan and into the fire as they run into the film's villain, Johnny Tran. This your ride? It was, it's his now. No, it's not, I haven't taken delivery. It's nobody's car. And his cousin, Lance. It's an amazing machine. Okay, so let's talk about Lance. Ladies and gentlemen, Lance is the most important character in all of Fast and the Furious. Pay close attention to him. He doesn't blink. He doesn't emote. Lance doesn't feel. There's nothing left. No conscience, no reason, no basic understanding and even the most rudimentary sense of good or evil, right or wrong. Just a blank, pale, emotionless face and the blackest eyes, the devil's eyes. I like to imagine Johnny Tran answers to Lance out of pure fear for what he might do if he doesn't. Lance wanted to kill Paul Walker and Vin Diesel right there, but Johnny Tran begged and pleaded, Please Lance, just, just fucking blow up their car, I don't want to kill anybody tonight, man. Anyways, it's at this point that it's revealed that Paul Walker's character is an undercover cop. Damn. Muse, will you take these things off? I mean, shit, you put them on so tight. I like realism. Like you never know who's watching, bro. Like, did anyone honestly not see that coming? Was that, like, supposed to be a big reveal? Were we supposed to be fucking surprised by that? So they tried to establish a ticking clock element by saying truck drivers are going to start fighting back soon. We don't make this case soon, the truckers will take matters into their own hands. That's right, they're not going to take this lying down, they're probably going to fight back right around the climax of the film. Like they know if and when this is going to happen. It's like they read the script. And truckers arming themselves for some good old fashioned vigilante mayhem. So anyway, Paul Walker starts to fall in deep with these assholes. Man, you should be going to MIT or something. Nah, I got that. That attention disorder. Or ADD. Yes, that shit. You know, I was going to algebra and like math and shit. Everything else, I failed. Dropped out of school. I don't know, it's something about engines that, that calms me down. You know? Oh, fuck you! You know, there's something more to these street racers than I originally thought. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Because you were the first out of everybody here to reach in to get the chicken, you say grace. You know, there's something more to these street racers than I originally thought. Anyway, Paul Walker gets caught snooping around. And despite him obviously being a cop. You're a cop? And offering up the world's worst excuse. I owe you 10 second car. They just buy into it and head straight to Johnny Tran's place. I'm sorry, I meant to say that's Lance's place. I'm surprised they don't fucking smell the reek of death as they approach. So they check out Johnny Tran's garage, but his cars are empty. What they plan on racing with? Hopes and dreams? But Paul Walker is more concerned with DVD players because, you know, So they get scared, not because Johnny Tran, but because Lance is coming. Okay, so Johnny Tran and Lance rough up some schmuck, right? Where are they, Ted? Where are they? Where are they? They're in the warehouse. They're in the warehouse, man. But what the movie doesn't show us is right after this, when Lance just fucking murders the guy in cold blood. Johnny Tran's all like, come on, Lance, we promised we wouldn't kill anybody. He told us what we wanted, just, just please. And Lance, blank face and emotionless, pulls the fucking trigger. You know, this whole thing got a little too real for me. S -s Somebody give me a cigarette. Get him a cigarette. Don't get him a cigarette. Oh, come on, please, I just want one cigarette. Get him a cigarette. No! Oh, fuck you guys. 
See, the animal isn't just a brute. Well, well, I mean, he is, but he's also a philosopher. I live my life a quarter mile at a time. You know, Vin, maybe not tell Paul Walker to live his life a quarter mile at a time. For those 10 seconds or less, I'm free. You know, there's something more to these street racers than I originally thought. So everyone goes to this thing called race wars. Stage race riots in America with the headline, Army Training to Fight Blacks. Jesus, not that kind of race war. Oh God, this review's going to shit. Anyway, Jesse tries to race Johnny Tran for pink slips. Oh no, I wonder how this turns out. Too soon, Junior. Oh, no. And Johnny Tran makes the unfortunate mistake of calling the animal a snitch. It was you! So it's at this point that it's revealed that Ben Diesel and company are in fact the ones robbing the trucks. Fucking shocker there. And somehow Paul Walker knows that tonight's the night the truckers are gonna fight back. It's like he's read the script. Your brother's out there, he's about to pull a job and we're running out of time. Those truckers, they're not laying down anymore. No but anyway, they try to go on one more heist and everything goes to shit. Vince gets strung across the truck, the driver starts blasting holes in him, and everyone wipes out. But Paul Walker's obvious stunt double shows up to save the day. You know, there's something more to these street racers than I originally thought. Brian, I gotta find Jesse before they do. Lance is after him, Brian! So Jesse shows up at that very moment to show everyone how good he is at catching bullets with his chest. <laughs> so after a decent chase, Paul Walker and the animal decide to have one last race. Hi, I'm Paul Walker, starring in The Fast and the Furious. All the racing stunts in our film are performed in a staged environment by professionals with years of training and experience. So with that in mind, be smart, drive safe, and stay legal. And in the end, Paul Walker lets Vin go free. I owe you a 10 second car. And the animal drives off into the sunset. And unemployment. As his career took a nosedive after the release of Triple X one year later. So overall, this movie is so cheesy, cliched, and corny, it's hard for me not to love it. I grew up making fun of this series with friends. However, I'd be lying if I said that some part of me didn't legitimately enjoy this series. That's why I'm giving the first Fast and Furious movie a four and a half out of five. So everyone, that's the Fast and the Furious. I hope you enjoy- Lance. Oh, it's, oh my god. I don't- No! No! No!